Welcome to Rep U. Now yesterday was my oldest son's 10th birthday. Now he had a kind of a friends gathering on Friday, a family barbecue on Saturday, and then for his actual birthday, which was Tuesday, we took him out to a restaurant of his choice and then we rented a Redbox movie. Uh, he got some gifts from everyone and we got him some a few things. I think he got a walkie-talkie set for him and his cousins and himself for this weekend and a t-shirt, a Fortnite t-shirt. But one of the other things that I got him was a letter. I wrote him a letter. And this letter was all about his birth and kind of where he is today and my love for him. And, you know, hopefully he'll, he's read it or has read parts of it or will read it. But that's not the point. My question to you is, when's the last time you wrote someone a letter? When's the last time you actually shared your feelings with pen to paper or fingers to keypad that wasn't through a social media? But something that you wrote out, thought out, was kind and compassionate and loving in your words and actually physically gave to someone. I do this all the time for people who make an impact in my life. I give them a letter and I typically will give them a show of appreciation or a small token in a marble. Um, that's just my quirky thing. But in giving this letter to my son, I wondered how many people have written a letter to their child? I know there's an exercise to write a letter to your unborn child, but what about your child who's currently living? So I have a challenge for you, and that's to write your child or children a letter. If they can't read it, save it for them. If they can, give it to them. And there's no restrictions. Write whatever you want, but just make sure it's coming from a place of love. The other challenge I have is something I did in a course I taught on masculinity with high school boys. And that's where I had the boys write a letter to their father. And I wanted to flip this and say, if you are up for that challenge of writing a letter for your children, I then want you to write a letter to your parents. Again, it can be about whatever you want. Just share and be honest. Sometimes it's hard to have face-to-face -face conversations about tough things or even just to share how much one love and appreciate each other. My family is very close and we communicate pretty well, so we can say it, but I also love to write. So I want to do things like that to cement it so they can have a tangible thing besides the words. But for a lot of families, it can be difficult to communicate. And a letter is a great place to start the line of communication, to open up that channel for you to have that conversation. Now, it's not necessarily going to work and you won't give a letter to your dad or mom and all of a sudden they'll want to call you and have this great talk or you'll give a letter to your son or daughter and all of a sudden they'll want to come to you and say anything about it. But at least you've made the effort to start that line of communication and then continue to make that effort. Instead of a letter, maybe a video, maybe a voice note, maybe sitting down in front of them and just saying, hey, I just want to talk to you. It was interesting, too. The other day, my niece from my older brother, his daughter, uh, you know, we don't really have that much of a relationship because he passed away a while ago. Um, I didn't really know much of my brother growing up. And so him and I didn't have that great of a relationship. So his daughter and I don't have that great of a relationship. But her mom reached out and said she really wants to know more about her family. And so I reached out with a text and said, hey, let's grab some dinner. I want to talk to you. Answer any questions you have. Let's let's make this thing something continued. It's just a step in opening the line of communication. So if you're up for it, take the challenge. Write your kid a letter. If you're really up for it, write a letter to one of your parents or both of your parents. And if you want to go beyond, how about writing a letter to that certain someone you know you have something to say, but you've been too afraid to do so? Who knows? It could change everything. All right, that's Rep U. Check out all social media at RebirthBX. Hit the website, RebirthBX.com. The reverse engineer parenting program is still up. Uh, it's going to go offline in a little while, though, because we've got some webinars coming up and it's going to be added to an eight week online course. So make sure to grab that while you can hot off the press. All right. I'll talk to you guys next week.